With a 50% obesity rate in the U.S. and more unhealthy people than ever before, it is time to make America healthy. Welcome to Make America Healthy with Beth Shaw. If you're feeling tired, toxic, heavy, slow, or stressed, then keep listening. Beth and her expert guests are here to offer practical advice and share the tools you need to reclaim your physical, mental, and emotional health. Now, here is your host, Beth Shaw. We'd like to thank our title sponsor, YogaFit Training Systems Worldwide. YogaFit has been offering quality education for physical and mental health for over 27 years. Operating as a school worldwide, YogaFit has teacher trainings, consumer-friendly programs, over 250 different programs to choose from, whether it's yoga for heart health, yoga for obesity, all different types of mind-body activities, Pilates, Tai Chi, and so much more. Corporate wellness, yoga for healthcare, yoga as therapy, and you can visit one of their conferences, you can take a training online, you can take a ongoing support training. So you can save 15% at checkout by using the code MAH24 at yogafit.com. Your body will thank you. Welcome to Make America Healthy. My name is Beth Shaw. I'm the host of this podcast, the author of four books on health and wellness, the founder of YogaFit Training Systems Worldwide, and an international presenter. So welcome to Make America Healthy. Our goal is to empower you, inspire you, and educate you with tools so you can take better care of your own physical and mental health because at the end of the day, no one else is going to do it for you, but you. So today's topic is why you are getting sick. And we're uh, very happy to have a repeat guest with us. We have Catherine Arniston, and she is the founder and CEO of Energy Bits, a product that I love. She's got a PhD in natural health, and she's also a lifelong researcher, especially as it relates to algae. So Catherine, welcome back to Make America Healthy. Thank you for having me. I love being a repeat flyer. There's a lot to learn about how to be healthy. One of the things I try to do for people is to give them an easy solution. Because right now, whether on Instagram, reading books, listening to podcasts, and thank God for Instagram and podcasts, because that's where we're getting most of our current information that's not as political, shall we say. Tainted, I'd like to say. Yeah, Um, yeah. But it's so great to have you back. The first time you were on the show, and you and I have met up in Boston several times when I was there to complete my education at Harvard. And you told me such a great story about how you actually started your research because your sister had cancer and you wanted to help cure her. And I I think that's a story worth repeating. It was breast cancer. And here we are in Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. I tell people when say, how did you become, they asked me how I became an algae expert and what was my incentive to pursue this. And I said, I It pursued me, not the other way around. As you mentioned, my younger sister in Canada, because I'm Canadian, although I've lived in Boston 35 years, my younger sister in Canada, when she was just turning 40, developed breast cancer. And she was healthy, had two young children. Like We were all stunned. The good news is I want to assure everyone she did heal completely and we celebrate her being cancer-free every year. But as she was preparing for her chemotherapy, her oncologist, which is a cancer specialist, told her she needed to change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would help with her healing. Now they didn't tell her what an alkaline diet was or why specifically it was good for her. So my baby sister called me, I knew nothing about nutrition. I was doing, I have an MBA in international business, but I love my sister and I'm a good researcher. So I said, I'll find out for you, don't worry. And I did. Turned out an alkaline diet was mostly a plant-based diet because of two reasons, I believe. One is that plants have a lot of chlorophyll in them and chlorophyll builds your blood. It's virtually the same chemical composition of your blood and it helps build your immune system. Number two, turns out that plants and chlorophyll are very alkaline, which is why my sister's doctor wanted to have it. There's a German scientist by the name of Otto Warburg who won a Nobel Prize in the 30s for discovering that cancer cannot exist in cells that are alkaline. So I think that's what caused my sister's oncologist, who happened to be a woman, by the way, and women are generally more forward thinking when it comes to nutrition, why she recommended this. So I helped my sister figure out 
that an alkaline diet was a plant-based diet. She changed her diet. She completely healed. I started learning more about plant-based nutrition, which led me to algae because it turns out algae is the most alkaline, nutrient-dense plant in the world. It's been endorsed by NASA, the United Nations, for 50 years as being the most nutrient-dense food. It has a thousand times more nutrition than anything else. 100,000 studies documenting all the health benefits of algae nutrition. It's been used safely in Asia for 60 years. They take it every single day in Japan, Korea, Taiwan, every day. The Japanese have the best longevity, lowest cancer rates, and great skin and hair. So yeah. when I learned all this about algae and that it was science-based, internationally endorsed, used safely for 60 years, but nobody outside of Asia really knew that it was a food or that it had these healing properties, I decided I would change that. So that was 15 years ago. And that's when I committed my future and my life to helping people learn about algae nutrition because it is the effort, most effortless, proven way to improve your nutrition, your energy, your brain, your mitochondria, your health, your longevity, effortlessly. Did I say that again? Effortlessly. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing, I, I take a lot of supplements. I try to alternate them a little bit now. But the nice thing about the Energy Bits product is I, I like that the spirulina is packaged uh, differently than the chlorella. I take the spirulina in the morning without fail. I take the chlorella at night. And perhaps you could educate our listeners a little bit on the difference between the two. But yes, sometimes when you take something, you just can feel that it's something very good for you. I also mentioned I give your product to my dogs. My, my dog, I should say, he's got so much energy. He's a uh, third time uh, cancer survivor. Uh, he had mast cell tumor removed from his neck in 2017. He had anal gland cancer in 2022, also removed, it came back. Third time around, I decided I'm just gonna treat this myself. I know the road that I would go down if I had a diagnosis and it would be a more holistic path. I am honoring that path for him as well. I give him your product. I give him a lot of other supplements. I inject him with mistletoe. We do PMF mat and some ozone. And he doesn't have any cancer markers in his blood. And now the tumor has been hanging around for about a year and a half. It has not grown at all either. Obviously, whatever I'm doing is working. And yes, uh, I, I credit your product in part to that. So thank you. Yes, a couple of things. Absolutely. And a lot of people do think algae tablets are supplements, but they're not. They're actually food. In fact, we call our, they're little tiny tablets about the size of a baby aspirin. Um, we call them bits because they're bits of food. Nothing got, else in there. I've got some on my desk here too. I just yeah. took some. <laughs> and we will talk about the difference between spirulina and chlorella because they do different things in your body and you take them at different times of the day for different reasons. But there's nothing else in them. They have so much nutrition that the spirulina, I call your nutritional insurance because it fills all your nutritional gaps. 40 vitamins and minerals, highest chlorophyll in the world, highest protein in the world, and chlorella, I call your health insurance because it kills bacteria, chelates, pulls out toxins, heavy metals, glyphosate, pesticide, and builds your immune system. So spirulina is very much a nourishment algae. Chlorella, which we call recovery bits, is a healing detoxing algae. Because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I do want to, you mentioned your dog having cancer. I wanted to talk a little bit, not only about spirulina giving you nourishment and energy, but it has a very unique pigment in it called phycocyanin, that's spelled P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N, -C -C phycocyanin. Uh, you've probably never heard of it. It's not in any other food in the entire universe, just spirulina, phycocyanin, P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N. And why am I taking so much time to spell it out for you? It's because phycocyanin, the blue pigment in spirulina, is proven to kill cancer cells. I'd say that's pretty important. Here we are in Breast Cancer Awareness Month, proven to kill cancer cells. You can Google phycocyanin, now that you know how to spell it, and cancer treatments. And you'll read all- I've heard that Google has blocked a lot of cancer searching. In fact, searching for cancer cures naturally or holistically, I think was on the ban. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. So I'd like to recommend to my clients who are looking for health information, not to use Google, but instead to use a different type of a search engine and maybe a DuckDuckGo or whatever that is. 
just a little tips for our listeners. There are a lot of words that are banned from searches and it'll be more challenging for you to find the information. Do your digging away from Google if possible. Anyway, so people can do the research or they can just trust you because you've been researching for so long. We and, have links that we can certainly yeah. send you that uh, people can read the because I've downloaded all these articles. But I guess the And do they I, exist on your website energybits.com? We're going to be putting them on the website. Okay. There's so many. Like when when I tell you there's 100,000 studies documenting the different health benefits, I'm not kidding. So it, it's almost too much science, but no one's ever explained. I'm the first person pretty much in North America, probably the world that has spent so much time researching these health issues and how algae has nutrients in it that help correct so many of them. So the thing with this blue phycocyanin that's only in spirulina is that it's deactivated by high heat. And so the problem is most algae, doesn't matter whether it's a powder or a tablet like ours, most of the lower quality, lower priced algae uses, they use high heat to dry it because they need to sell more to make money. But the high heat, and I've got papers, scientific papers that prove it, deactivate it. Now you're buying spirulina maybe because you want the protective healing attributes for cancer. But if you buy a, a lower quality one, you're not getting it because it's just, it's dead. It's like buying and, a car. And, and there's no way for anyone to know, right? Not really. The only thing I could tell you is if it came from China, it probably has been heated because- Well, also because it sat on a freighter coming over for however long exposed to the sun and the elements and everything. Uh, that doesn't do anything to it. It's the heating. It has to be over hundred. If it's over 114 degrees Fahrenheit, all enzymes- and lo- and most nutrients are deactivated or mm-hmm. damaged. Almost all of the cheaper brands or price algae comes from China. And pretty much everybody uses high heat. So I can almost tell you for sure, if it came from China, it's been heated. If I was to go to a health food store and drink a shot of uh, wheatgrass juice, is that going to have similar properties or not? No, it doesn't have phycocyanin. There's okay. nothing in the world that has phycocyanin except spirulina and it can't, it must be raw. So ours is raw because we don't use high heat. You can also get raw spirulina, frozen spirulina for the same reason. It hasn't been exposed to high heat. We're talking to the Hippocrates Institute, which is a healing center. They take very sick patients who have stage three and four cancer. And one of the first things they do is they give them raw spirulina every day. And part of it's because of this blue phycocyanin that's proven to have uh, properties, I can geek out and tell you what, how it really works. But anyways, that's, so I just want to share with that information with people because the, the, the chemotherapy companies use this phycocyanin in their cancer treatments now, oh, but I don't know anybody that wants cancer chemotherapy. And this is a, you have to understand that algae is a gift to us from mother nature. It was the first life on earth four billion years ago. It was a cyanobacteria like spirulina. And not just the first plant, the first life. So I call spirulina now spiritualina because there's something spiritual about the first life on earth and it's still here. And it has all these amazing properties that mother nature has gifted us. The only thing that I can tell you is that I can't take credit for algae, but I can take credit for growing it so carefully and drying it so carefully that we preserve all of these nutrients that are very needed by you now. And why are these nutrients needed and why is algae needed now? And this gets back to the original topic of why is everybody getting sick? Because our soils are so damaged from being over cropped, monocropped, there's no minerals in the soil anymore. Even if you're eating organic, the food simply does not have the nutrition in it that your grandparents had. It's just not there. So when, whether you're eating a plant-based diet and it's organic, you are getting a 10th of the nutrition that you would have gotten 50 years ago. So our bodies just are not getting the nutrients they need to perform, period. And, and I think that if we really listen to our bodies, we feel that. I go for yeah. IV vitamin drips like every two weeks. I also shoot myself up with B vitamins and, and glutathione a couple of times a week. If I forget, I'm dragging. I'm teaching yoga six days a week. I work out. I don't eat a tremendous lot of amount of carbohydrates. I, I feel the nutrient depletion myself yeah. and, yeah. and I, I'm fairly healthy. 
you're very well informed and you know what where you can go to fill those gaps. But yeah. most people don't. And so when you're not having the nutrients that your body needs, it's like being in a boat with a bunch of holes. Yeah. The lack of nu nutrients in the soil is one issue. And then of course, all the almost everything everyone's eating is over processed and loaded with seed oils and sugar, things that are really damaging to your health. It, it so. almost makes one not want to even eat anymore. I have to oh, say I know. that sometimes maybe I should just take a bunch of amino acid pills and recovery bits and energy bits and call it a day because if you know too much, which unfortunately I do. I eat mostly algae. I chew mine. I like it with uh, pistachio nuts, which by right. the way, have very lectins and eggs. Those are my three favorite foods. I do go out occasionally for dinner, but you're right. I don't go for dinner much at all anymore because I know the crap that's being served to me, yeah. even if I go to a really high quality food. Yeah. Here's the thing. I call spirulina nutritional insurance because it gives your body everything you need to fill those nutritional holes that are in your boat. It will bring you back to life and it's effortless. If you can swallow water, taking 10 tablets in the morning is effortless. In a second, you've gotten what you need. Now, if you have a health condition of any kind, brain fog, diabetes, heart, cancer, anything, the therapeutic dose is really 30 tablets a day. But for most people, 10 tablets is fine to get you started. If you're on a GLP-1, please take spirulina because you're not eating. And, and, and don't take them at the same time, right? Sure you can if you want. But when we're talking like one is more of a cleansing product and the other is more of a building product. Yes. Do you think it's possible to cleanse and build at the same time? Oh, sure. Oh, okay. sure. And you can take as much as you like. Our NHL players have 75 of our energy bit spirulina before a game. I have over 100 a day of between the two of them every single day and half or 15 years. But gen you can so you can take them any time of day, but for energy, hunger, focus, that's spirulina. That's the nourishment you need at the cellular level, the brain level, the uh, muscular level. That's what spirulina does. And it feeds your mitochondria. So they're protected as you get older. Most people are, are tired and hungry and want focus in the morning and the afternoon. So that's when most people take spirulina. Now you could take chlorella as well, and I do, but we definitely want you to take chlorella before bed. You can take it any time yeah. of day, but definitely before bed because chlorella is a detox repair algae. And when you sleep, that's when your body detoxes and repairs. How does chlorella do it? It's completely different from spirulina. It has a hard cell wall that attaches to toxins, heavy metals, lead, mercury, radiation, glyphosate, pesticide, alcohol, lactic acid, doesn't matter what it is, and it removes it. So it's chelating. Number two, chlorella has a hard cell wall with fiber in it. Now, spirulina is actually a bacteria, no cellulose wall at all. So it gets into your bloodstream instantly, which is why athletes love it so much, because if you chew them or swallow them, you get... Um, an increase in your focus and your energy very quickly. Chlorella has a hard cell wall with fiber. The hard cell wall attaches the toxins, as I mentioned, but that fiber feeds your gut biome the nutrients that your, your healthy bacteria need. So now you're getting rid of the metals, the toxins, you're feeding your gut biome. It has all the nutrients that build your immune system, which of course are in your gut. Chlor chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Chlorophyll. I, I also take liquid chlorophyll. Um, you don't need to take liquid chlorophyll when you take chlorella. Okay. Chlorella has 25 times more liquid chlor uh, more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll. Nothing well, in the I'll, world. I'll tell you why I take the liquid also. If I've eaten a meal that has a lot of spice in it and I don't want to smell like that meal, I will take the liquid chlorophyll. And then also if I'm sweating a lot. I do carb cycling. So if I haven't had a lot of carbs and I find myself in ketosis, I find that the chlorophyll is very helpful. What I'm hearing from you is you don't need to take both. I, I hear that, but I'm still going to take both anyway. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm a more is more person, even when it comes to uh, supplements and, and healthy things. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why chlorella is called chlorella because of the chlorophyll. It has, there's nothing in the world with more chlorophyll than chlorella. It's completely your choice. You can do as you, whatever makes you feel good. And that's the bottom line. Everyone should do what makes them feel good. But I just telling you that chlorella has way more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll and chlorophyll kills bacteria. That's why 
when you have, if you're a carnivore, lots of carnivores have very bad breath because their meat gets stuck in their teeth. Yeah. Chlorophyll and chlorella will kill the bacteria, kills it in your colon, which is another reason why chlorella is so good for your gut. Now, chlorella also stimulates what's called peristalsis, which is a fancy word for saying a bowel movement. Yeah. And I tell people, there's two things you have to remember. It's not just what you eat, it's what you absorb. So for number one, spirulina, there's nothing in the world that is easier to absorb than spirulina because it's a bacteria, no cellulose wall. So 99% bioavailable within minutes. So that, that's very, very helpful to get your nutrition. Also, you've got to get rid of the stuff your body didn't want. So you put nourishment in, but you got to get rid of the what I call the junk in your trunk. Your body, the stuff that's in your colon is stuff that your body said, I don't want any of that, or I can't use that. But it's in your colon. Now, if you aren't having a daily bowel movement, that stuff sits there. It's like having a garbage truck parked in front of your house permanently. You need to get rid of it. And if people are stressed, they're not drinking water, they're not exercising, they're eating dairy or processed foods, you're constipated or on medications. Almost everybody, medications make you constipated because it kills the healthy bacteria in your gut. So chlorella gets rid of that problem. This is another good reason for you to take it. And if you take it before bed, then you wake up and I go to the bathroom and you have a nice little bowel movement. Everything's working really great. So that's why we recommend chlorella at night for all these purposes. It also stimulates stem cell release, oh, that's which, nice. which heals your body. So chlorella is very much a recovery, healing, health and wellness algae. And you can take it any time of day, but definitely take it before bed. 10 tablets again will give you the wellness benefits. If you want detox, you do need the 30 tablets for a therapeutic dose. So, so one uh, question about this, I do intermittent fasting and a lot of our listeners do as well. From all the research that I've done, if something has more than 10 calories in it, it will break your intermittent fast. So sometimes I'll be very careful like not to take more than nine of your tablets. Curious as to your thoughts on energy bits, spirulina, chlorella, and intermittent fasting. Oh yeah, they don't break a fast, neither one of them. Even uh, if I were to take 50 tablets. Yeah, because there's no carbs, zero okay. carbs. And I generally recommend the spirulina for intermittent fasting because it gets into your bloodstream so much faster because it has no cellulose wall and it will nourish you and satisfy your hunger and give you focus. Because when you're doing intermittent fasting, you're not eating. So your um, your energy can drop, although sometimes also salt is good for that, I will say. In fact, I eat my all my algae tablets with uh, sea salt on them. It's delicious. Okay. Absolutely. Del I have them for breakfast. I, I do intermittent fasting every single day. And okay. I usually get to about two o'clock just with the algae to two or three. And then I might start adding the pistachio nuts around two or three. And then I have a, me a proper meal for dinner. I'm down to one meal a day and I love it. It simplifies my life. I have so much time and, and I'm nourishing my body because again, spirulina is your health insurance. But Dr. Mindy Peltz confirms that as long as it's not a lot of protein and you're keeping the carbs down to zero or close to zero, you are not breaking your fast. So this is why for keto people, intermittent fasting, carnivores, paleo, okay. ancestral, vegans, algae is for you. Well, thank you uh, so much for all of this. We've got a special gift for our listeners. So you can go to energybits.com and enter the code yoga fit to save 15%, I think it is. Uh, 20, 20%. 20%. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, you got right, it. 20%. Uh, there you energybits.com, use the code yoga fit to save 20%. I ordered two large bags a few weeks ago and I'm going through them. We would like to thank the sponsors of this show, Preva Medica, Cell Sciences. They make tests so you can find out what your food allergies are. Find out if you're methylating your supplements. Uh, see what nutritional deficiencies you might have, especially as it relates to vitamins and minerals. They also have nutritional counseling, weight and body composition help, and so much more. I've taken these tests. They were super helpful. You can go to previmedica.com and use the code yogafit to save 15 per. You can also email them at hello at previmedica.com or call 855-773-8463 extension 111 and get yourself tested. It's rather inexpensive and well worth it because you may be eating something that 
is upsetting your gut, even if it's something healthy like a carrot. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, BioOptimize, making a magnesium breakthrough product that I use, and it's seven different forms of magnesium. I used to buy five different kinds of magnesium and take them all at night, but Magnesium Breakthrough has seven different kinds of magnesium all in one supplement. It's uh, optimized for maximum absorption and it's all natural, vegan. They also offer a 365 day money back guarantee. So don't miss out on good sleep. Magnesium will give you that and stress management. Visit biooptimizers.com and use the promo code Make America Healthy to save 10%. So you can also subscribe. And we'd like to thank our title sponsor, Yoga Fit Training Systems Worldwide offering all different types of programs as they relate to yoga, mind, body, wellness, Ayurveda, yoga therapy, yoga for PTSD and trauma, online trainings, live pre-recorded trainings, online live trainings. And we're having a big conference in Palm Springs after the first of the year at the fabulous Riviera Hotel in Palm Springs, where there will be 20 different educational programs offered as well as many mini sessions. So if you happen to find yourself in the Palm Springs area, come and check it out. I will be there. Uh, yoga Fit also does uh, yoga for healthcare, corporate wellness, and so much more. And you can go to yogafit.com and save 15% at checkout by using the code MAH. 24. Check out yogafit.com. Take care of your back. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. You can do it all yourself. You really can. We'd like to thank Catherine Arniston from Energy Bits for giving us a really great, I felt like I got a PhD in algae yeah. today, Catherine. So thank you for that. <laughs> Half an hour. There you go. Yeah. Where can our listeners find you? Yes, we'll come to energybits.com, E-N-E-R-G-Y, B for boy, I, T for Tom, S for Sam. We write a blog every month, lots of science. You can buy your products there. And if you aren't ready for a big bag, we sell them in large bags of a thousand tablets. But if you use the Yoga Fit 20% discount code, it brings the full bag down from $130 to $104. And I mentioned that because if you were to take 10 spirulina tablets a day, and you paid $104, it will last you three months. And I know. I, I feel like I, I still have pretty full bags and I'm uh, not stingy with my consumption and my dog's taking them as well. Yeah. So I really have to say, I love your products. Yeah, it only, uh, it's helped I'm, me with digestion, with energy yeah. and, and everything. Yeah. But I just wanted people to know it only costs a dollar a day. You can't right. even get a coffee for under three dollars, yeah, I, I just picked up two coffees, and it was like with the gratuity it was ten dollars. So yeah, I, so a dollar a day, a dollar a day to nourish your body, protect your mitochondria, your brain, your energy, your focus, and get all of your nourishment. You can replace most of your supplements, and a dollar a day for the chlorella to build your immune system, pull out the toxins, and uh, get rid of the junk in your trunk. And help Great. you sleep. But some other nature, she nailed it. We just have to help people understand it and find it. So thank you so much thank um, you. for being on Make America Healthy. I look forward to seeing you uh, live and in person one day soon. I hope Maybe so. at our studio in Lauderdale by the sea. You'll there come you in and, and give a program yeah. during uh, season. Until next time, everyone, if you know somebody who's getting sick, they feel like they should detox or, or build their immune system, please share this episode with them. Until next time, everyone stay healthy, stay happy, and let's make America healthy. Namaste. Thanks to our main sponsor, Preva Medica and Cell Sciences. They make amazing tests for food sensitivity, methylation, food allergies, nutritional counseling, and so much more. I have personally done their tests and I will tell you it's a game changer. Even foods that were healthy, I was allergic to. Things like arugula and avocado, who knew? My gut function has really improved since I took the Prevamedica tests. So you can save 10% at checkout by going to prevamedica.com and use the code YOGAFIT. Also, they have nutritional consultants on staff and you can call 855-773-8463, extension 111, or just email hello at prevamedica.com. Take care of your health on a deeper level. Get tested. We'd like to thank our main sponsor, YogaFit Training Systems Worldwide. You can visit yogafit.com to take courses on how to improve your health physically and mentally. We offer yoga courses, mind-body courses, corporate wellness, yoga for healthcare providers, yoga for trauma, 
depression, anxiety, PTSD, yoga as therapy, so much more. Over 250 different programs to choose from. You can save 15% at checkout by using the code MAH24 and visit yogafit.com. There's also a big conference coming up in Palm Springs in January, and you won't want to miss the opportunity to take better control of your health physically and mentally through the practice of yoga, mind-body, mindfulness, and other techniques. Thanks for joining us on Make America Healthy. We hope we've given you some tools you need to take back control of your health. Until next time, we wish you a healthy and wonderful week.